Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again. Here with a new video. Uh, and today I wanted to look at a Windows 10 Mobile running on a low-end Lumia device because I've been having uh, this question a lot of times these past few weeks. Um, is it worth upgrade? And how does it run on something like the 435? Well, tune in and let's find out. So here we have the 435 running Windows 10 Mobile. Um, as you can see probably from other videos, looks very nice aesthetic, aesthetically very beautiful. Uh, and I must say the performance uh, on the 435 of 1GB is very smooth. Um, of course we've got the change in um, the action center with a lot more options. Uh, and you also have the option to individually um, do all kinds of things uh, with your notifications. So if I have one email I can just delete one email. Uh, and with Windows uh, Phone 8.1, you had to de delete the entire uh, app notifications. But that's not all changed. Um, what can I say from the performance? Uh, uh, generally, it runs pretty smooth um, compared to 8.1, maybe a tad bit slower because of the animations. Um, so the apps take a little longer to load. Uh, but things like the store and the uh, availability of apps uh, hasn't improved that much but actually I wanted to highlight a few uh, apps that have uh, been majorly improved and that is really the uh, Office apps so they're very nice uh, very full-fledged because I have here also 1520 still running 8.1 um, so if we check check out the differences if we go to Office on here Still an office or all in one app. Uh, and let's open the same uh, file. So you can see this looks much more professional, much more um, close uh, to the experience you get on a desktop with a lot more of uh, highlights and features you can add. Another app that I wanted to have a look at in particular is uh, Facebook. Um, so uh, Facebook is much improved, uh, it's much closer to the version uh, that you know on, from other platforms. So, um, and one thing especially that I uh, have noticed is uh, that it's very easy, uh, a lot easier to reply to comments. So if we have some uh, comments over here. I can actually reply uh, directly to a person uh, that is commenting uh, and if we do try to do the same thing on Windows 8.1 so we go to the comments I can then just write a comment but I cannot reply on this particular person that has commented on the on, on the video uh, the biggest change I've seen actually I think is Instagram because um, for all Instagram is still in beta on 8.1 and here you get a full-fledged Instagram app complete with a live tile, um, uh, which I believe even SixTag Six Tag doesn't have it, like the, the nice um, alternative client that you have on the Windows uh, 8.1 and on the Windows 10 platform. But it looks really nice, um, and especially um, with uploading everything, uh, that is a lot more um, uh, comprehensive. So uh, for instance, So, okay. So you can see it's very unstable also. Um, but for instance, it will not let you, um, how do you call it? You cannot upload videos or anything like that. Um, just photos. Uh, and here I can just completely do videos, uh, photos, anything I want to upload. So for instance, I have uh, a video here that I'm, that I'm gonna select. Um, I also have all of the nice filters that you have on all the other operating systems. Um, and for a short while, actually, you didn't have that on uh, on the Windows Phone, uh, especially with the Instagram, you did have that option with Six Tag. But now you have uh, the official uh, Instagram app. I think, I believe it's ported from, uh, from the iPhone, actually. And it fully functions and it does everything. And, uh, 
Let's see if we can just get this at the start. So Instagram is actually um, <laughs> refusing to start up, so we'll just move up uh, to the next app. Uh, one of the things that I also noticed is, uh, especially the animations on the, on the lifestyle have, have been uh, changed. So I have here uh, TubeCast and uh, MyTube, uh, and they look a lot nicer in the terms of the animations. Very nice, uh, very smooth, um, and, and uh, very different from uh, what you get on, on, uh, on Windows 8.1. I like the sliding of the, of the live tile, of the new um, uh, updates uh, and the flipping tile. And I think this uh, sliding um, animation looks a lot smoother. Also, it's the same with mill. Uh, mill used, it used to be static, so you would just uh, see your new mill and anything like that, and that's it. Um, but here you actually see uh, your, if you have two unopened mills just like me, you see the latest. Um, uh, emails uh, flashing by in the laptop. So that's also a very nice uh, aesthetic change. So another thing we could uh, take a look at is maybe the camera app. Uh, that hasn't changed uh, much. Uh, it's still actually the camera that you're uh, used to. Only now the, the Windows camera is, is uh, how it's called, the Microsoft camera. It's uh, very standard and, uh, and it's the same for every other phone. So you have your same controls here. Uh, nothing really has changed around here, but it's very nice that this is now the standard uh, uh, Windows Phone camera app. So two additional uh, changes of course, the internet uh, browser uh, and the store. We'll have a look at the internet browser uh, first, uh, Microsoft Edge. Uh, and what can I say, it's uh, pretty fast. Uh, it does what it, what it needs to do. Uh, works very smooth. Uh, and yeah, it's very reliable. And that is really an upgrade on uh, Internet Explorer, definitely. Next, let's look at the store. So the store uh, is a bit enhanced. Uh, and like I said, um, there's some apps um, that are just uh, available. Like there's a lot more apps. Uh, like for instance, I think King uh, has a lot more uh, apps available for um, uh, Windows 10. Because if we look at King and the... Windows 8.1 store. Uh, let's do some Candy Crush. Uh, and then let's see if we can get more. Yes. You see, you only have these two, and here you have a lot more available on. On your uh, Lumia 45 with Windows 10. So that's also something you're gonna notice um, that apps that you do have um, on your A.1 device uh, work a lot better uh, on, on Windows 10. Uh, and all in all, uh, if I can conclude this video at the same time, uh, I would highly recommend uh, a Windows 10 upgrade on a 435. Uh, on a 520, 620 is a different story. Uh, because I heard that the 512 uh, megabyte devices uh, just really can't cope uh, with the load of, of Windows uh, 10. Of course, it's visually a lot more um, uh, heavy. Uh, and it turns out that 512 meg uh, devices, they will run it. They will have all of the features that I just uh, showed you just now, but they just won't do it at, uh, at a normal fast pace of what you're used to in cheap uh, uh, Windows uh, devices. Uh, but again, um, if you have 435 or uh, 535 or any uh, low-end Windows phone with at least one gigabyte of RAM, um, get the update, man. Uh, it's, it's just very nice. Uh, it really improves the experience. I think it looks a little prettier. The apps are uh, nicer, especially Facebook and Instagram, which has been lacking a lot of features ever since they were on, on Windows 8.1. Uh, and a lot of things are still the same. So uh, you still have your uh, people up and you can see here uh, upstairs. Uh, Cortana is still here, um, which almost um, works the same. So it's a little um, a little different aesthetically, but apart from that, um, uh, it's, it's pretty much uh, the same as you, as, as you know. Um, so this uh, has been my video uh, on the low end of phones uh, on Windows 10 Mobile. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, also, maybe I can give you a little bit of a sneak peek because 
I am um, I'm reviewing uh, the, the, one of the latest uh, flagships uh, of Windows 10 Mobile uh, at the moment. So that's a very very nice device, 950. So uh, if you want if you don't want to miss that, I would say stay tuned uh, to the channel. Uh, and also if you have any questions or suggestions uh, about one of the Windows devices. Uh, then please uh, say so in the comments. I don't know if you guys want to have a comparison between the older flagship and the newer one or how Windows 10 compares uh, to a high-end flagship and an entry-level device. Uh, leave it all in the comments uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon.